hope you're all really, really well. Hope you're all having a lovely start to your day. It is currently Sunday morning and we've had the nicest morning ever. We've just had like a really slow, chilled out morning and it's been really nice actually because last weekend we were super busy just kind of like doing work stuff. Obviously we've got a new Girl of Muse collection coming really soon which is our autumn winter drop which is, oh my God, I can't wait for you to see all of the pieces that we have. Um, everything is so cozy and yeah, I'm really excited for that one. And that launch is like our biggest one yet. So we've just both been so busy. Yeah, it's been really lovely to kind of just have a little bit more of a chilled morning and not have about a million things running through my brain um but yeah we're gonna have a really cozy sunday i really want to do some autumn baking um i've been craving doing some baking to be completely honest ever since i saw the bake off on tuesday um i feel like oh my god i love that program so much every time it comes on tv i just feel like we we're on the countdown for christmas guys let's be honest as soon as the Bake Off is on TV, it's officially the countdown for Christmas and it always inspires me just to bake everything. And I haven't actually done any autumnal baking yet, so I really wanna bake something autumny today. I bought all the ingredients to make some pumpkin muffins with cream cheese frosting. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later this morning. We're gonna go on a lovely autumn walk as well. We discovered where we live there are like so many beautiful walking routes we've done a few of them and i'll take you guys with us later but there's a really beautiful like bit to walk down that's kind of like looks like a bit of an orchard and if you go at sunset it's so lovely because you can see the sunset in through the trees and oh it's just so nice so gonna go on a nice autumn walk and then this evening I really want to have like a full-on pamper evening I haven't had one of those in a while and I just love Sundays I feel like Sunday is such a fabulous day to do all of the things that you love and just to kind of like reset for the week ahead I always find if I have a really busy Sunday where I don't kind of like take any time for myself obviously there's always going to be like weekends like that where you're not able to kind of do all the bits that make you make you feel like you've kind of recharged your batteries in a way um but i always just feel really good like in the week when i've had a sunday just to chill and relax and do all the things i love so i think sundays are a fabulous reset day a great day to prepare for the week ahead um we've actually just had a food shopping delivery delivered as well i kind of have got into a bit of a routine of trying to get a slot every sunday morning um because again i feel like it's great to have like a fridge full of really healthy food for the week we've got our mirror back in our bedroom i don't even know if i told you guys this story i don't think i did because whenever i talk about this certain subject you guys freak me out <laughs> when i spoke about the black footprint by the bed you guys just you fill my head with all sorts of things and i'm not gonna lie it it it, it bothers me it makes me dream about it basically right very long story short we had a mirror here and one day there was a black footprint by the bed one black footprint very creepy um i had no idea what it could have been we kind of thought that if it was from one of our feet there would be kind of like a trail of them but there was just one and it was literally just like by the side of the bed and i spoke about it and a lot of you guys actually said it was a demon and also a lot of you guys said that having the mirror in the bedroom could be a gateway for the old spirits and demons. This is gonna turn into a long story. Let me sit down for a second. I'll sit on the ottoman. So one night shortly after the black footprint, um, Teddy has a bit of a habit of coming into the bedroom every night at like 3 a.m. and he'll come and sleep on my pillow. One night he actually woke me up and I couldn't get back to sleep. So he was laid on my chest and I was just watching him and he was doing some creepy stuff. He was literally like staring out here right so imagine 
imagine this, right? You're in bed, it's 3 a.m. You're laid just here. This is pitch black at night. Teddy was on my chest and his eyes were staring out here and he kept really slowly like moving his head and then staring just here. And right here was where the footprint was. So, I mean, <laughs> that creeped me out. And he would then watch it go back this way. And I was trying to think of all of these really reasonable explanations as to why he would do that. Um, I thought we've got a road opposite our house over here. Maybe, you know, it's the reflection from the cars because we've got glass on the banister. So maybe the reflection off that, maybe the reflection off the mirror. I didn't know, but then I fell down the deep, dark hole of watching YouTube videos about cats being able to see paranormal things and yeah, it tipped me over the edge. So basically the mirror went out the bedroom. But I mean, that was like a month ago now and the mirror's back. So please don't leave me any creepy comments. Please don't tell me that a demon is gonna possess my soul. Yeah, anyway, let me show you what I got from this week's food shopping. It's moving swiftly on. There he is, speak of the devil. No pun intended. Teddy is just pooed outside his little box. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> I know, it makes you feel very festive. Sniff. I've already smelled, <laughs> I'd rather not sniff your hands right now, <laughs> thanks. He's now chasing his tail around the pole. I mean, so my loves, moving swiftly on from the ghost chat and the poo chat. Before I show you my grocery haul, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Casetify. If you guys haven't heard of Casetify before, you need to go and have a browse. They sell the most beautiful phone cases. As you guys know, I got a new phone ages ago now and I've actually been waiting to use it until my case to fight cases came because I wanted it to be really protected. No one wants a cracked screen. I have had far too many cracked screens in my life and I wanted to wait until my beautiful phone cases came so it looked gorgeous but also was really protected. Now this is actually the iPhone 12 but the iPhone 13 actually comes out at the end of this month I believe and if you're planning on getting the iPhone 13 13, this is the perfect opportunity to treat yourself to a new phone case. Case Defy literally have the widest selection. They have mirror cases. They have such a wide range of print cases. They have glitter cases. They have leather cases. They have very plain cases as well. Also personalize your phone case, which is amazing and also makes such a lovely gift. Now, my favorite cases are the impact cases, which I have right here. And this case will literally protect your phone. You can drop it from so high. The new case is actually for the iPhone 13. You can drop from something crazy like 9.8 feet and it will be protected. They are also made from 50% recycled plastic which is amazing and the impact and ultra impact cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. Let me show you the ones that I picked up. So first of all I picked this one up which is just a plain cream case. Like I said is the ultra protection case which will protect my phone from any droppage. My phone is literally swinged here there and everywhere so this is is brilliant just to know that my phone is safe then I also picked up these ones they come in this beautiful little gift wrap which like I said would make such a fab gift for someone especially because you can personalize it I think it's such a lovely touch to receive something personalized so I also picked up this one which kind of has like a little bit of a speckled detail and it says GLM 
cute. Also picked up as well this clear case, which also has the protection. I like this because the back of the iPhone is really pretty, so it's nice to kind of have an option to be able to see that, but it also be protected. Last but definitely not least, I picked up this one. Let me turn it this way so you can see properly. And I feel like this one is my second favorite. I think this one is my top favorite, and then this is my second favorite. Personalized so much on these cases. Obviously, you can choose what it says. It doesn't have to say your initials. It can say anything. I had 1111 on one of my previous cases, which I loved. Um, but you can also choose the color, the font, where you have the personalization, like such a cool idea. So as always, I will leave a direct link down below for Case to Buy, and if you click on that link, a 15% off discount code will already be applied, so you can save yourself some money. And like I said, if you are planning on getting the iPhone 13, such a perfect case to protect your new phone. This is kind of like a mini grocery haul. This is from Ocado, which you guys know I like to do kind of like every few weeks just to get a top up on my favorites. And we actually have HelloFresh being delivered this week, so I didn't really need to get dinner bits, but I just wanted to kind of like stock up on a few little snacky bits and some bits I love to have in the house. So this is my cinnamon section. I have been on the hunt for like really seasonal kind of like foodie bits to buy. These are brilliant. These are like pre-made cinnamon rolls and all you need to do is slice them into six, pop them in the oven and then pop some icing on top and it's such a lovely treat to have. Sometimes I feel like I get the baking bug where I really wanna bake something but I don't have the time or I don't have all the ingredients because baking can sometimes be really time consuming but I thought this would be great to keep in the fridge just in case we have people coming over or I fancy baking something really quick so I picked up this. Then I also got as well some cinnamon and raisin toasty loaf. I love like fruit toast, it's one of my favorites. So I thought that would be really lovely to have as a breakfast. Then I also picked up as well some wild apple and cinnamon tea bags. I thought these would be really nice for the evening, like after my pamper evening to enjoy one of these. This is honey with cinnamon. I think that'll be so nice on some like pumpkin pancakes. Then I also picked up some eggs and just some more coffee pods. I got some Pepsis. I got some Tilda Boil in the Bag rice. Then, oh my goodness, right. If you guys have not tried these, you need to go to your local M&S immediately and get them. These on the barbecue, oh, oh my God, delicious. But you can also do these in the grill and they're just so yummy. So I got some of those. I got some paneer for curries, one of my favorite things ever. Then I also picked up some pomegranate and mango chutney, again for curries, or also really nice on cheese and crackers. Got some hummus, I got some olives with feta. I got this little cheese selection because this is brilliant for like picky lunches. Um, I like to sometimes do like cheese and crackers and lots of like fruit and like veg and hummus. Then I also got some more feta, we've been loving. Um, toast with avocado and feta at the moment, so yummy. Got some cheese to keep in the fridge. I got some milk chocolate rice cakes. I love these as a snack. Some straws, courgettes, some avocados, apples. I got lemon and ginger so I can make my lemon and ginger tonic. I think I still have a little bit of this left from my last batch, so I'll wait until that's gone and then I shall make my lemon and ginger tonic, which I have every single morning. And oh my goodness, this was probably what I was most excited about. How gorgeous does this olive and basil bread look? Yum. I might actually make, in a minute, oh my God, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make us a brunch. I am gonna do this sourdough with avocado, fried eggs and feta. Mm, oh my God, yum, I cannot wait to eat that, I think that's gonna be really yummy. Also got some coriander. These are my new obsession. Absolutely adore them, literally on their own. You can add chicken, you can add prawns, you can add pretty much anything, but I just love them on their own. Um, I've been having one of these every single day for lunch. I usually just have half, so I mean, I got four. My mum's coming over this week, and I think we're gonna go to the beach again for an evening if the weather is quite nice, so we'll take one of these. Then, I've also got a bit of an obsession with soup and smoothies at the moment. Don't know what it is, but I'm just a bit obsessed. So, Soup, I feel like, is literally an autumn staple. 
So I picked up this chunky chicken and vegetable soup. We had this the other night, it was really yum. And then if you haven't tried the smooth cream of tomato soup from M&S, it's incredible, so nice. I have been loving this with like a toasted cheese sandwich. It's like one of my favorite dinners. Then I also picked up as well these because I thought these look really good for lunches. These are like nourish soup. So this one is roasted carrot and ginger. Jamie actually thought these were smoothies and he was gonna take a swig of one of them. And this one is kale, spinach and turmeric. I thought they'd be just nice as a little healthy lunch. Then I also picked up this. I don't usually buy this because it's usually very, very expensive, but it was half price. Then I have been very lazy and I picked up some cream cheese style icing for our bacon a little bit later on. And then I bought these smoothies. They had obviously like the big cartons, but these were on offer. I think there was something like three, something like three for five pounds, which is amazing. So I just thought I'd get these. And I thought these are great as well to kind of like take on a walk or when me and mum go to the beach, we can take a few of these and it'll just be like a really nice little refreshing drink. So I got oranges, mangoes and pineapples, cherries, berries and apples, and also peaches, passion fruits and oranges. dining room yet like I haven't shown you the dining room um, we obviously still have quite a lot to do in this room we want to get some blinds to go on the bifold doors and we also would like to paint um, in here as well and also I think we're gonna panel that back wall um, so yeah there's still gonna be quite a few changes but I'm gonna show you the dining room so far if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen on sunday that i had a really exciting announcement which is i actually have my own edit with olivia's which is just incredible honestly an absolute pinch me moment when they asked me if i wanted to do an edit with them um but i'll leave my edit down below so you can see all of my top picks here it is what do you guys think i am so happy with it i kind of wanted to go for like a farmhouse rustic but still cozy kind of vibe um visualize it with obviously paneled walls maybe something on this wall i'm not entirely sure let me know what you guys think and then we're also going to paint the entire kitchen the same color as my office so like a really warm color um but yeah i love it i'm so happy i wasn't too sure if i'd made the right decision with the black chairs but when they came and i kind of put everything together i'm so happy that i went for the black chairs because olivia's actually also have these in like all wood which are gorgeous but then i felt like it would have looked a little bit too woody imagine this decorated for christmas I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but very excited to see what it looks like all festive. Um, so obviously the table and chairs are from Olivia's. They're both sold separately. The table runner needs an iron, but my steamer is actually at Girl of News HQ. This is two runners actually, because it wasn't long enough for the entire table. But these are from H&M High. The little table setting looks like... These placemats are from The White Company. I'll try and link as much as I possibly can down below. The plates were from Zara Home, the little bowl and plates. And then these linen napkins were from H&M Home. And then Jamie found this string, which is absolutely perfect. I don't know where he found it. I think it's in one of our drawers. But it's the exact vibe that I really wanted to go for, just kind of like that rustic farmhouse vibe and I love them. The matte black cutlery sets were from H&M Home. Then I just popped my new little linen pumpkins, so cute, on the table. I've got a few different ones of these pumpkins and they're so cute. I'll also leave a link down below where I got these. And that's actually a cinnamon stick, so they're actually like cinnamon scented. Then this paper mache plate is from Robinson's Interiors. The vase is H&M Home. And then the eucalyptus is from HomeSense. And then this gorgeous rug is from The White Company. Let me know what you guys think, if there's anything you'd add, if there's anything you'd take away, what you would do with the wall behind. Um, we did actually have the table long ways at one point, but I just wasn't keen on it. I feel like it took up so much more room and 
although that way does flow with the shape of the room more I just I felt like it didn't do it justice I love it being this way I feel like you can see it really well and yeah very very excited to decorate this area for Christmas so I'm just about to make our brunch and I'm gonna pop an episode of don't tell the bride on honestly my obsession for this program it's not healthy guys I have I think I've watched all of these um <laughs> I always go through them in the hope that I like spy one that I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to do that now, but honestly, best program ever. So a few of my favourites are obviously the Vegas one. That one is just a total disaster and literally the best. Me and Jamie actually watched one the other day where they broke the rules and the bride found out all about the groom's plans and basically... The entire program for like 40 minutes was as normal, like they were planning the wedding, I was dead excited to see the wedding. And then the producers came in and they were like, no, you've broken the rules. So we didn't even get to see the wedding. And then it just ended. I looked at Jamie and I was like, I'm actually gutted. Like I really wanted to see the wedding. Um, another one of my faves is the Winter Wonderland one. I'm not gonna lie. If Jamie and I went on Don't Tell the Bride and he organized me, a winter wonderland Christmas themed wedding. I'd be in my element guys. I'd literally be so happy. The pig farm one, just why? <laughs> why would anyone do that? Um, the beauty and the beast one is really good. I love that one. Desperately trying to find one that I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen this one. Sonny is a fun fanatic. That's never a good sign. <laughs> Will Jasmine love his zoo themed beach party wedding? No, actually, Sonny, I don't think Jasmine is going to be too thrilled. Let's watch that one. Um, and it literally says 15 minutes cook, 15 minutes prep, so that's not long at all. Um, I just thought of something, actually, that I don't think I've, I might have told you guys. You might already know this information. I'm not sure, though. It was a long time ago. So when I used to work at my old job, this is probably like maybe three or four, no, four years ago, um, I actually applied for the Bake Off. And I remember doing the application, it was like, can you bake bread? I was like, yep, I can't bake bread. Can you bake biscuits? I was like, yep, can't bake biscuits. Um, can you bake shoe buns? I was like, yep, I've never baked. Or actually, I don't even think I've eaten a shoe bun in my life. So I applied for it, just on a bit of whim. Out of boredom, I think. And I got through to interview stages and I chickened out because I knew that I couldn't bake half the stuff that I said I could bake. Okay, first things first, we need 225 grams of plain flour. I'm using self-raising because the recipe says plain flour and baking powder and baking powder basically makes plain flour self-raising flour, right? So I figured just use self-raising. In goes the flour. Then I'm gonna skip the baking powder. 100 grams of Pasta sugar. Then we also need 50 grams of light brown sugar. This one had a casualty by the looks of it because it's all it's all ripped open and in this bag. I can't actually remember what happened to that. It looks like it's been ripped open by wolves. Oh, okay, that that was in fact 100 grams. A bit of that back in there. Is Teddy just jumping about behind me? There's nothing for you up here. There's nothing for you. He's obsessed with food and flies. Just absolutely obsessed. Just stay down there. Please don't jump up here. You don't like sugar. He's like, I do. 
I like any type of food. Teddy. Stop being nosy. Once he's jumped up once, he, he won't stop. He is genuinely like a jack in a box. That's 50 grams. Teddy. Okay, in goes the brown sugar. And then, what else do we need? Brown sugar, blah, 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 blah. Flour, sugar, and cinnamon. Now, I've got something a little bit more special than cinnamon. I have got this pumpkin pie spice. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, sir. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this instead. Oh my God. Teddy. Third time lucky, I'm gonna be using this pumpkin pie spice, which I got from Amazon. And it's basically the same as cinnamon, but like nicer. Teddy, if you jump up once more, you're going out the kitchen. I don't wanna to have to do that to you, but you're getting a little bit relentless. Oh my God. Teddy. I did warn you. See, this is a problem with having a glass door. Now I can just see him sat at the door and he's going meowing at me, but I can't hear anything. So, where were we? One tablespoon of pumpkin spice. This smells incredible. Kind of, kind of smells like carrot cake. I'm gonna put a little bit more in actually, because do you know what? <laughs> that was definitely like three tablespoons. There's nothing worse than biting into something that's meant to taste like pure pumpkin. And it doesn't really taste like much. I had this disappointment in Starbucks the other day. I tried one of their, I think it was their pumpkin loaf cake. And I don't know whether I just got a bit with no pumpkin in it, but it, it just, it just tasted like loaf cake with no pumpkin. Okay, that's all the dry ingredients mixed together. Next, I'm going to add the eggs and also the pumpkin puree. <coughs> I always think pumpkin puree is gonna smell like pure autumn, right? I open the can and every year I take a whiff and it just don't smell that great, you know. Okay, next you need to whisk together your egg and also your pumpkin. And then you add your pumpkin and egg mixture to all of the dry ingredients and mix it all up. And I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh my God, I've forgotten the butter. Oh no. Whisk the puree and eggs together in a jug and then add the melted butter. Oh dear. My puree and eggs are now in here. I could kind of try and scoop it back into there. It's got a little bit of flour on it, but I think that'll be fine, won't it? Okay, if you forget to add the butter, like me, and you've already put the wet ingredients with the dry, and well, if you've, if you've mixed it, you probably can't save it, but because it was literally just on top, I took it back out, added the butter, whisked it back up, and then added it again to the dry mixture, and it was looking a bit peaky, guys, I won't lie. It did look a bit separated, but now I've mixed it in with, the other ingredients. Looks blooming lovely.
literally just came downstairs. I was in the middle of taking my makeup off, so I've still actually got like patches of makeup on my face. So just ignore that. Um, but Jamie popped to the shop to get me an icer so I could finish the muffins, and he came home with these. How beautiful are these? <gasps> it's funny because when I was in M&S the other day. I saw these and just thought, wow, they're so pretty. So I've just finished icing the muffins. Oh my goodness, how good do they look? <gasps> and I'm gonna do the taste test. Honestly, the whole house smells of pumpkin spice. Yum. Okay, let's give it a try. Does my mouth open that wide? It does. That is the best cake I've ever made. I'm just putting it out there, wow. It tastes like a carrot cake, but like 10 times nicer. I think, do you know what I think it is? I think it's that pumpkin pie spice that I got from Amazon. I know a lot of people despise this word, and if you hate the M word, like put your hands over your ears right about now, but it's so moist. There's no other word to describe it. Other than delicious. So, I'm gonna head back upstairs and remove the rest of my makeup. Just stood here, devouring a cake with half a face of makeup on. Um, I'm gonna take makeup off and then we are gonna go on our walk. We kind of wanna go for sunset, so. We're probably gonna leave here about five. It takes about 45 minutes to walk all the way up to the top. And then it should be about time for sunset. Um, it's kind of like golden hour, about five o'clock anyway, where it just looks so golden and beautiful. <laughs> Jamie's mum has joined us and we're going to collect some bits to create an autumn wreath for the porch. Jamie's found a rather large stick. What have you got that for? I'm picking up loads of bits. Is that your new walking stick? <laughs> wow. To help you on your autumn hike, huh? <laughs> you got it for the wreath. I don't think that'll fit in her back. <laughs> Can we show everyone Mum's new trainers? <laughs> Janice, has had to, Janice has had to borrow a pair of Jamie's trainers <laughs> and they're like three sizes <laughs> too big. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite horrible. Oh, it's so funny. Um, we want to see your trainers. <laughs> Things. Wow. Wait a minute, let me flop that back for you. What have we got in the you bag then, Rem? I've got some, some twigs. twigs. <laughs> right, I've got twigs. But it don't look much now, does it? No. Wow. And conkers. Con no, no, not just conkers. Conkers in the shell. <gasps> this wreath is going to be the best. It's going to make the difference. <laughs> what she found? The hunter gatherer. Oh, some berries. Rose hips. Sort of like, ah, that one's so spiky! Oh my god, that one is so spiky! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's the perfect. Look at that oh, one, look yeah. at Jamie's one. It's muddy though, look at it. <laughs> Are we having a conquer competition? <laughs> well, wait a minute, what about that one? Who can oh, find the best conquer? Oh my no, look at that, look, look, look. Check them out then. Oh, wow. You know I mean? Well, oh, that one shit. opens and talks. <laughs> we like that one. Oh. They're so spiky, spiky aren't around. they? We look like right weirdos. We're literally in a patch of mud on the side of a road picking up conkers. <laughs> they hurt, don't they? Whoa, whoa. That's a good one, actually. Whoa, that's, that's probably a, nice a winner. That's probably, that's probably don't you want that one, Janice? Yeah. <laughs> look how full your bag's getting. I know, I've got lovely, lovely things in my bag, haven't I? 
don't know if you guys can see, but our house is over there across. I don't even know if I'm pointing at the right thing. Um, no, I'm pointing in the sky. And we walked all the way down there, across the road, and then we went all the way up there. And then we came back. And then this path goes all the way down to the end. And then you go across the bridge and then back to our house. crazy does this look? I am very much looking forward to getting in my bath. I have just lit one of my favourite candles ever which is, which is the perfect night sleep candle from Neom. It literally will make your entire bathroom smell like a spa. I also popped in as well some of the Neom bath foam. This one's the de-stress one which I love but I also love the perfect night sleep one as well. So good if you do struggle to switch off or you struggle to sleep. I feel like the bath foam and the candle is just such a luxurious little duo. And then I've been far too excited <laughs> to use my Halloween bath bomb. As you guys know, I've got quite the collection of Lush bath bombs and I haven't used one yet. So I'm really looking forward to using the first of many autumn bath bombs. And then a few other products that I'm going to be using tonight. I'm gonna to scrub off all my tan because I am looking extremely patchy. So I'm gonna use this salt scrub from Espar. This is so nice, literally. Smells incredible, gives you kind of like that spa feeling um, and also leaves your skin silky smooth and it's also brilliant for getting fake tan off. Then I'm also going to use as well to keep in with the autumn theme, I'm going to use my pumpkin in shower face mask. Obviously you can use this in the bath as well. And then once I get out the bath, best believe I'm absolutely lathering my body in the vanilla pumpkin body butter from the body shop. This is one of my all time favorite products. Now, would it really be the end of a vlog if I wasn't in bed talking about what series we're about to watch? No, it wouldn't. So here I am in bed. I have just got out of the bath, as you can see. I feel silky smooth. I smell of a pumpkin. Life is good. Life is good right now, guys. Um, we are just about to watch a <laughs> a new series. I feel like I am a parrot at this point. A new series we have started on ITV Hub, and it's called Flesh and Blood. Very good. Really enjoying it. We're on like episode two, and I think it has four episodes and I really like it. And then in the week we watched a series called Undeniable also on ITV Player and it's only a two part series. It was brilliant. Like, so sad there was only two episodes because I was so invested and it was like a murder mystery kind of series of course. We started a wrong turn marathon a few weeks ago now. We got up to wrong turn five but then, you know, I feel like there's only so so many wrong turns you can watch. There's only so many times you can see a bunch of teenagers go into the woods and get cut up into a million pieces by hillbillies. There's only so many times you can watch that. Um, so we gave up on number five. We, we might continue at some point, maybe on Halloween. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed spending a cosy Sunday with us. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry that my uploads haven't been as consistent as they have for like the past four years um i feel like i used to have such anxiety about always having an upload for every sunday and every wednesday and it would really get me down if i ever missed an upload day but i've kind of had to get over that fear a little bit this year um obviously since we started girl of muse 
essentially it's like another full-time job and of course I have Jamie and to be honest he is an absolute godsend but there are times especially when we have like a big drop coming like we do where my energy is just so consumed by that I find it really hard to I find it really hard to juggle things and I just wanted to say thank you so much for um, understanding that I haven't been as consistent and I really appreciate you for that because I still hate it deep down I hate missing upload days and I would hate to disappoint any of you guys I'd hate for you to think there's a video when there's not going to be one and yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for understanding that there may not be a video every single Sunday and every single Wednesday we've just got a lot going on right now there's also quite a lot of changes going on behind the scenes um, and I'll be able to tell you guys about that soon but it'll all make sense soon but I can't say too much um, but yeah there's just there's a lot going on so my loves I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you guys on Sunday for my full night routine which I'm going to be filming this week which I'm really excited about. I hope you'll have a lovely week and I'll see you on Sunday. Night night!